Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am Kanna Campbell. Before we launch into today's video, which is all about how to cope when you are feeling completely overwhelmed, I have two quick reminders for you. Number one, please make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and that notification bell is switched on. Number two is to make sure you're following me on both of my Instagram accounts at Sugar Mama TV for all of your financial motivation, inspiration, and most importantly, education. And then of course, over at Canna Campbell Official because this is where I share with you inside my real life. I share with you my capsule wardrobe fashion reels, showing you how I style items in my wardrobe so I get the maximum use out of them without breaking my budget. I also share with you my beauty hacks, uh, motherhood, work-life balance, and it's simply a safe space of inspiration, and motivation, and hopefully to add value in your life. It's another, I guess, extension of my community. So please make sure you are following me on both accounts. All right, so today I wanna to talk to you about how to cope when you are feeling completely overwhelmed. A couple of weeks ago, I made a really popular video, which you guys loved, about how to deal with with stress and anxiety, like how, how to keep it all together. And the video and the tips that I gave you in that was more from a proactive point of view, like how to do these things in your life to avoid ever feeling overwhelmed. But this video is about how to deal with being overwhelmed. You know, it's great to do all these proactive things and they really do help, but sometimes life just happens. Things happen out of our control and things just sneak up or subconsciously things go on and then all of a sudden, smack bang, we're feeling overwhelmed. It's a completely normal and natural feeling. So this is what I wanna focus about on this video is what to do when you're in the thick of feeling overwhelmed. Now, first of all, let's understand what the emotion or what, what it is really to be overwhelmed. Well, when we're overwhelmed, we're simply overloaded. We have completely lost our sense of feeling and our sense of confidence and strength to be able to cope with what is in front of us right now. And it can leave us feeling incredibly anxious, fearful, and sometimes it can just make us freeze and panic and we do nothing or we just simply flee and run away. It can be very debilitating and it can end up being something that we can really break us down if we don't do something about it. But this is the key we need to remember. It's not fact when it's, we're feeling overwhelmed. It's simply an emotion. It's just simply a perspective. It's not real life. And just like the clouds move through life and through the sky, the feeling of being overwhelmed can also move. But the important thing is to do something about it. And the moment you do something about it, the volume of the level of the overwhelming feelings really start to tone down. Now, I'm not here to say that my life is perfect and I never have any stress or anxiety or worries. No, that's not the case at all. I've always been really transparent about my mental health. I'm a hypersensitive person. And at times, yes, I do feel overwhelmed. But this video, I'm gonna share with you the seven things that I personally do that really help me get through the other side of being overwhelmed so that I come out stronger, wiser, and more resilient. Now remember, this is a YouTube community and if you have any ideas or suggestions or tips that will help me and help other people watching this video right now deal with the feelings of being completely overwhelmed, please make sure you share those ideas in the comment box below. And of course, please feel free to share any of my content in any time you like. Okay, so one of the first things I find that really helps me when I'm feeling overwhelmed, and that is to listen to some music. Ideally, some upbeat, optimistic music. What this does is it immediately distracts me from all the noise and stress that's going through my body. It also connects with my nervous system. And scientific studies have actually proven that when you listen to music, particularly you know happy, positive, bubbly music, it helps tone down the cortisol and the adrenaline that's running through your body and allows your body to, I guess, recover and recalibrate itself so you can get through. So definitely switch on some music, even if it's only one song. My second tip for when you're feeling completely overwhelmed, and that is to take a break. Now, I have a lot of trouble doing this because I'm like, no, no, just keep pushing through, keep pushing through. But when I do this, I actually find that when I come back to that task or that job or that project or that situation, I actually am so much more productive and I actually get a whole new idea or inspiration by taking a break. 
Now a break can be all sorts of different things. It could be simply just walking away for a day, or it might be just taking a 20 minute break and going and doing something completely different. Or it might be even something really productive like taking a nap or going and grabbing a glass of water or a cup of tea or making a phone call to a friend or doing some exercise or going for a walk. But when you switch off and disconnect from that project, it gives you some perspective as to what you're dealing with. And you never know what might happen in that break because you'll be opening yourself up to a different idea, a different level of inspiration, a different way of tackling and handling the problem in front of you right then and there. Tip number three is to focus on one thing at a time. It is really easy to multitask and to make yourself feel really efficient and effective when you're juggling lots of things at the same time, getting through your list of things to do. However, if you're sitting in a place where you're feeling overwhelmed, this is counterintuitive because at the end of the day, you're going to look at your list of things that you're supposed to have done and you've only really done 10, 15, 20% of each of those things on your list and you're not going to feel good about yourself. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, I recommend you have a bit of a pep talk to yourself and you say to yourself, all right, I'm not going to start any new tasks until I have completed this particular task. You're not allowed to get up until it is done. And when you've done, you can actually feel really good about yourself as you proudly cross it off your list. Now, my hack within this hack is to actually cheat. Okay, well, cheat's really a bad word. It's not really cheating, but I actually recommend if you look at your list of things to do, you start with the list of things or the items on your list, which are really quick and easy. Now, the reason why I recommend you do this is it's going to build momentum and it's going to help you reinstall a sense of self-confidence and self-worth and self-belief in yourself because you'll see that you're actually getting through the list and you'll feel quickly because you're taking action, the level of the overwhelming feelings start to tone down. So go with the quick, easy ones first when it comes to getting through your list of things to do and don't multi task just get through one thing at a time. Tip number four is to divide and conquer. This is one that I really need to keep working on myself. It is so easy at the time to think, yes, I would love to come to that. Yes, I'll contribute to that. Yes, I can do that for you, no problem. Yes, I will be there for that. Yes, yes, yes. And then before you know it, you have completely overloaded yourself with so many tasks, projects, and deadlines. No wonder you're feeling overwhelmed. And you start to regret, why did I say yes at that time? So this is where you need to take control and obviously also be proactive going forward and learn from this. But you start looking at those lists and you go, all right, but what, are the, what can I do here right now to reduce the stress, to reduce my list of things to do and really focus on the stuff that really matters right now? So this is where you might, for example, delegate. You might ask someone to come in and help you. You might say to yourself, all right, I've got this massive assignment due. Perhaps I could pay someone, you know, but also need to get the, the house cleaned as well. Perhaps I could spend $60 getting someone to come in and help me clean the house so I can focus on getting the assignment. Delegation is a really smart investment most of the time. The next thing is to do is to look at rescheduling. All right, you're supposed to catch up with this person or you're supposed to have this project handed in by this time. Perhaps you can apply for extension. Perhaps you can say to this person, look, I'm really overwhelmed, I've overcommitted myself. I'm feeling quite stressed right now. Would you mind if we catch up, not this week, but the following week? Can you reschedule your meetings? People are human. People have their own stresses, anxieties. Most people are going to really understand and respect where you're coming from. And the fact that you have communicated upfront about what you were going through. And in fact, it might even make you feel a stronger, deeper connection with that particular person. And then of course, the other option is if you realize you've overcommitted yourself, be honest, take ownership and say, you know what? I'm really sorry. I can't do this. I can't make this. I know I promised you I'll make it up to you in the future. But at this point right now, I've got so many things going on in my life. Even if it means you need to share with them a little bit of what's going on to help them understand where you're coming from. Don't be afraid of saying, I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to pull out. It's okay. This is your life and you don't deserve to feel overwhelmed because you're taking back control. But also I want to add with this particular hack, it's really important that you learn from this particular error. If you're someone who like me, who often and says yes to a lot of things. Make sure you learn from this. Make sure you look at your diary before you commit to anything and say to yourself, am I going to regret saying yes to this in two weeks time, the night before the event or the day before that project's due or the day before you've said you'll be at something or drop something over? Really stop and question yourself. Is my time really worth it? Is this going to add value to my life? And is something that's really important to me when I've got all these things going on? Be honest with yourself and don't be afraid to say, I'm really sorry, but I can't do this right now. My fifth tip for dealing with stress and being overwhelmed, and that is to simply call a friend. You're feeling stressed, you're feeling worried, you're feeling anxious, 
call a friend. So often I'll call a friend and I'll listen to their problems and I'll realize, oh my gosh, what am I going on about? I'm not alone, I'm supported, I'm loved, I'm protected. I've got a great community of friends and family behind me. And quite often when I hear other people's problems, I realize, all right, okay, this is not personal, what's going on in my life right now. Everyone else is dealing with the same or similar stresses, deadlines, pressures, anxieties. You know what? Lean on your community. It's so important that you connect with other people around you. Don't hide. Don't go into hibernation. Don't try and just deal with this all on your own. Reach out to other people for support. And then my seventh and final tip for you, and that is to live in a clutter-free world. This is really important if you're someone who feels overwhelmed. Whenever my house or my car or my desk at the office is cluttered with stuff, I immediately feel stressed and overwhelmed and anxious. By simply removing things around you, even if it means just putting things in a messy drawer or cupboard, it doesn't matter. Just make sure your surfaces are clear and you only have that particular item that you need to deal with in front of you so that you do not get distracted and you remain incredibly efficient as you work through your list of things to do and work through all the challenges and, and things that you're facing at that point in time. I cannot tell you, this is why minimalism has added so much value to my life. So really look at decluttering your home, decluttering your workspace, decluttering your car, the, the spaces around you, and even to a certain degree, potentially, you know, your social life or the people that you interact with so that you can really focus on what's important and allow the space for what's important to grow and expand and support you back further. All right, everyone, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you now understand what the feeling of being overwhelmed is. And these tips help you move from that space and energy of being overwhelmed to a healthier space where you feel, I guess, joyfully busy as you efficiently and effectively work through your list. You take better control in managing in a proactive way the concern or worry about getting into that place where you feel overwhelmed. And of course, go and make sure you watch my video on how to deal with stress and anxiety in a proactive way. Now, a very quick final reminder to make sure, number one, you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, the notification bell is switched on. And number two is to make sure you're following me on both of my Instagram accounts, at Sugar Mama TV and at Canna Campbell Official. All right, everyone, enjoy your weekend. Of course, feel free to share any of my content. Ciao for now.